What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boston Clinic one time for the one time. Back talking that YTBC shit. And uh, my boy, my brother over there at Colossal Boxing, big, uh, big smooth, you know, asked a question yesterday. What does Terrence Crawford have to do to be like a mega superstar in the sport of boxing? Um, parkour fans and some casual fans do know who Terrence Crawford is. Um, amazing talent. And I had a video. He's one of the almost overrated fighters by media and boxing, and, you know, I stand by that, you know, I'm not saying his skill set is overrated, I'm saying the level of opposition that he's fought doesn't, you know, you know, it doesn't clamor for for the high praise of being a top pound-for-pound fighter in the world on the scale level that I use, I don't curve the scale for how sorry these fighters is or how great they are, you know, this era for -for pound-for-pound fighter is watered down, it's just because we have an it's it's a transition between the Pacquiao and the Mayweather era, and these guys are still having to prove themselves. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, he still has to prove himself. You know, and uh, that's why he's not really recognized as a big star. Now you look at a guy like Adrian Broner, um, very popular. It's because he because he markets himself that way. Um, Crawford is not a rah rah guy like that, but Crawford does have an edge to him. Crawford has some dog in him. He has some hood to him. And, um, you know, and that's going to take him a long way. You know, if you hit, if you talk shit to Crawford, he's going to fire back. His his trainer, Bo Mack, one of his trainers, is very colorful. You know, he, he has the potential to be uh, a rising star out there. And they don't miss no words. You know, it's just, you know, can top rank uh, marketing right? That's the million-dollar question. You know, they failed to market Floyd the right way. They haven't marketed an African-American fighter the right way. And Muhammad Ali... I think he worked with Bob Arum. He marketed himself. You know, what he stood for, his aura, he was just on another level. But as far as what Terrence Crawford has to do, um, you know, he has to fight a real notable guy that has some popularity on a big stage. You know, with, you know, Oscar, now Heyman, hugging, and uh, seeing him trying to uh, leave Barry Demons. You know, with Bob and Al, both Harvard men, uh, Barry Demons after the lawsuit. Um, I think it is very imperative that Terrence Crawford gets on that national regular TV stage on PBC, NBC versus somebody. You know, I think Adrian Broner is the right guy. Broner's talking about this fight is pay per view. Um, no, you, you're not going to garner. You're not going to garner. You're not going to garner the the viewership on pay per view with Adrian Broner, and Terrence Crawford. It's not going to do enough numbers. Um, but a regular CBS card promoted the right way. I think Bob Aaron will show Al Heyman the ropes. And Oscar, all you know, those guys can show each other the ropes, how to market a fight. And we're going to see how great Oscar De La Hoya markets this Canelo Golovkin thing. He's already doing an excellent job. And I think that's the edge that, you know, Oscar has over the competition. He knows how to market. You know, Bob Arum, the edge is he knows how to manipulate the media. Al Heyman has a plan. You know, he has the platform. They all can come together. It could be a little nice rotation. But uh, I think Terrence Crawford has to fight a guy like Adrian Broner to get the ball rolling. Um, the reason Sean Porter didn't blow up like he was supposed to blow up versus Adrian Broner because um, at the end of the day, he looked. it was an ugly fight. I think Terrence Crawford can cleanly beat Adrian Broner and beat the shit out of him. And I think the trash talk could be epic. It depends on if Broner respects him or not. Um, but, we, I mean, at the end of the day, we, we'll see how that rolls. I think that fight needs to happen this year. Um, and it needs to be market right. Even if it's on regular HBO, I think, you know, it's a good fight. Uh, you know, PBC, it will be better. Um, and I think he needs to get a guy like Pacquiao in the ring. I know he doesn't want to chase the Pacquiao fight, but, you know, beating Pacquiao cleanly could help. But if not that, you know, moving the welterweight, you know, and, uh, you know, fighting one of the big guns will do it as well. Let these guys continue to build each other up and um, try to get a title. You know, a Khan fight would be nice for him to start off with, a Broner or Um Maybe, uh, you know, maybe a guy like... Uh, you know, get it, Earl Spence and Keith, let that play out. A Danny Garcia fight. You know, I think that's a good fight right there. You know, if he takes care of Diaz, gun for Broner, Amir Khan, if he wins in this comeback fight. Um, and then try to get a guy like Danny Garcia in the ring. And I think he starts to accumulate uh, that popularity. And then he goes for a title at, at 147 versus, you know, whoever's the top dog, Keith, Earl, um, and, you know, does his thing. And I think that's the key to popularity, even without with the Manny Pacquiao fight. Um, just about fighting 50-50 fights. Um, I think, you know, 
with popular fighters, I think, you know, let's get it done because we know the pound for pound list is really a popularity contest to an extent. We 